What's up guys, I'm Pete and this is Retro Game Attic. So for this episode, I'm gonna do something a little bit different and go over my current gaming CRTs and show you what might be my new favorite one that I just picked up. I, like most people, prefer to use an old CRT TV for retro gaming. CRTs come in a variety of different shapes and sizes with different audio and visual capabilities, all with their respective pros and cons. Sony Trinitrons are generally widely accepted as the best and a further step up from there would be a Sony Trinitron professional monitor, but they're pretty hard to come by for either cheap or just a good price for that matter. And I gotta put it out there that no two people's gaming preferences are going to be exactly the same, so there's no one-size-fits-all for a gaming CRT, so your preferences will probably be different from mine, and that's alright. And now on to the first CRT. So the first CRT I want to show you guys is a Sony Trinitron KV1973R, which was manufactured in March of 1985. This thing is an absolute unit, and it has some awesome period-correct wood grain. I mean, look at this, it's beautiful. I have the original remote control, but I've never used it, and I don't really have much reason to. The TV has these little nifty folding access ports on the front of the TV, which is convenient so you don't have to move it out to access the back. It has a 19 inch display, so it's a good mid-sized TV. Not too big, not too small. It features two RF inputs, but no coaxial inputs, unfortunately. It works great for the consoles that still rock an RF adapter, which are mainly my NES top loader and master system at this point. I mean, they look right at home when hooked up to this TV. This TV really isn't something that's super necessary, but I have the room for it at the time being, and if space ever does become an issue, I'd probably get rid of it. Here you can see a little bit of gameplay on it, and it actually looks pretty great for something this old. So next up is my main retro gaming, CRT. This is the Sony Trinitron KV20FV12, which was manufactured in 2000. It's still old, but it's much more modern and refined than the 80s Trinitron. It has a 20 inch Wega flat glass display, which reduces glare and has super vivid color output. It has one rear RF input, two composite video inputs, one on the back and then one via a fold down panel on the front of the TV, and no component input, unfortunately. The two internal speakers of the TV sound great and I've had no problems with them. It's small enough where it doesn't take up a ton of space, but it's also large enough for some solid multiplayer action. Most of my consoles are hooked up to this via a composite splitter. And here's some NES footage running on it. The video probably doesn't do it justice, but it looks so crisp for coaxial input. I seriously love this TV. And now the third one that I actually got this past weekend off of Craigslist. Surprisingly, it's not a Trinitron. It's a Panasonic CT9R11 from October of 2002. So it's the newest of the bunch and it is small. It has a sweet late 90s, early 2000s white outer casing and a tiny 9 inch display. It only has one RF input, which might be a deal breaker to some, but I've been rocking my unmodded NES top loader with just an RF output, and I seriously love it. The sound and picture quality of the TV is much better than I thought it would be, and its small form factor makes it easy to leave on a desktop for short, quick bursts. I think I'll probably invest in an RF to composite adapter for it just to make it a little more versatile eventually, but for the time being, it's working out great. My friends and I joke that these old, small, white TVs are like late 90s rich people kitchen TVs because in 1999 the pinnacle of luxury was watching who wants to be a millionaire while eating a bowl of golden grams. So now that we got those introductions out of the way, let's take a look at some NES gameplay on all three of my CRT TVs and see which one is the best. Keep in mind that they are all via RF output, and to me the clear winner is the 2000 Trinitron, but the other two really do hold their own. So like I said, there's no one size fits all to gaming CRTs. If you're looking for a good all around CRT, I would stick in the 19 through 27 inch range as they still have a relative relatively small footprint, but they're also large enough to actually see what you're playing, and they're good for multiplayer and light gun games. Playing a light gun game on that small 9 inch TV is kind of wonky, it works, but I wouldn't recommend it. I think present day especially, the word is kind of out with the popularity of these old TVs for gaming, so people are starting to ask high prices for them. I've seen plenty of listings with tags like Rare or Retro Gaming TV or Vintage Video Game TV, and then they ask like $150 for it. But full disclosure, I've gotten each one of my CRT for either free off of Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. You have to do some digging and have some good luck, but just be vigilant in your search and you could still find some good free ones out there. What about you guys? What's your retro gaming CRT of choice? Please let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for watching Retro Game Attic. I seriously appreciate you all and I hope you find some good gaming scores out there. See ya!